Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be going through part two of what I purchased during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Haley and I'm the founder of Minimal Style Club where we talk about how to achieve a minimal style aesthetic through purchasing quality items over quantity and staying away from fast fashion brands. We also do luxury unboxings and talk about shopping tips. So if you like any of those things, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. All right, so I'm so excited about this part two um, of what I purchased during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I marked things off of my wish list that I knew I've been wanting for a while. And then I also took a look at things that needed a refresh as well. I also used to have a bad habit at looking at Zara and just easily adding a lot of things to the cart because it is on the lower end of price points. And I realized that I wasn't investing in things that I actually could wear multiple times and I just wasn't shopping smart. Thing that I will show you guys, I purchased from a bunch of different stores. Um, the first one I'm really excited about and I'm going to unbox everything with you guys for the first time. So I haven't seen these items in person, I've only seen them online. All right, item number one. I purchased some sweaters from Nadam. If you guys don't know them, they make cashmere sweaters and accessories, and I love them. Um, I have purchased a couple things from them before. I think a beanie, and it's really good quality. So let's open this one up. Yeah, I was about to say I don't like how... They have all this plastic packaging, but it says that this is 100% recycled plastic bag. So another reason to love the company. I got the Super Luxe Cashmere Mock Neck Sweater, and this is in the frost gray color in a size extra small. And up close, you can see the material pretty well. I really think that this is easy to throw on in the winter, and this is also great for layering. I personally love the look where you can wear a blazer and like throw this on over it and tie it. Um, which I think is just also really cute. Butter will also be great for even like athleisure, same thing, wearing like a cute workout set, sneakers and throwing this on top for the colder days. Um, it's so versatile and I wanted something in a light gray color because I'm trying to build more of like a monochromatic look with light gray trousers or like charcoal trousers and this in like different shades of gray. And I also have my eye on this gray bag. So I think kind of once I put that all together, it's gonna look beautiful. This is extremely soft. Of course, I got this on sale, but I will still link down below in the description box. Let's go to the second sweater. So I have been looking for a quarter zip sweater for honestly probably like a year and a half. I saw one on like a targeted Instagram ad a while ago, but didn't love like the zip um, on the top, I'm like pretty picky. And I think that the actual zipper was like a circle instead of just a normal zipper tag style. So that deterred me from buying that one. Um, but then I saw that this one was on sale and this is in a really pretty, almost like mushroom color. They call it, I think the color timber. So it has the quarter zip detail up here. And obviously when you unzip it, looks like this. And again, super, super soft cashmere, 100% cashmere. And I also purchased one, this one in an extra small. Again, I am unboxing everything for the first time, so I haven't tried this one on yet, but I think, you know, this is good tucked into jeans, leather pants. Um, again, I plan to kind of drape it over my shoulders because I like that look as well. Probably have the best cashmere that I've ever felt. I have, I think, like I said, I had a, a beanie and then a navy blue sweater as well from them. That's more of like a cropped cashmere one. And it is, I've had that one for, I think like three years and it's lasted a really long time. I think um, the only thing is obviously washing it and then using like a cashmere comb, I think really helps to help because you know, it starts to build up and get pilled a little bit, but this is so versatile and is a good investment piece in your closet that you can wear for years. Okay, next thing I'm really excited about as well because I also found this on a really good sale. I wanna say this was maybe 40% off. This is my first time purchasing from this online retailer, but it, they're called Satire, if I'm saying that correctly. And came like this. It seems like they have 
a lot like a large selection of luxury items that are on sale i've even seen like new season bottega veneta on there for 10 percent off and then some old season pieces for like 40 percent off so i would highly suggest uh taking a look at satire and their website because if you're looking for something that's more like on the luxury end you might be able to find it on there even if it's like a 10 percent discount all right so i have never purchased anything by the brand Kate. I'm so excited because I know it has a cult following and their items are supposed to just be really well constructed. So I purchased this wool skirt from Kate. And you can see it has the tag in there. I'll link the exact one down below in the description box as well. I'm not sure if Satire still has it on their website, but I believe that you can find it on Kate's website as well. So it has these pockets, which of course are like stitched closed now, but I'm definitely gonna open them because who doesn't love pockets in a skirt? And it also has this front snap closure and then the button right here. I plan to wear this with tights, um, knee high boots. I think it would be really cute even with sneakers and loafers. So. Love this one. I'm super excited to try this on and I hope it fits. All right, next, this one I've been wanting for a while and I wanted to wait on purchasing it online because I wanted to go to a store to make sure I could smell it. Um, if you guys haven't tried dip tea candles, you absolutely have to. They have minier versions, which are not as expensive if you don't wanna go for the full size version. I love the fig scent that they have, the rose scent, you can't go wrong, and their bays scent, which is like berries, are all of the ones that people tend to go towards the most. I like the fig one a little bit better because it's not super sweet. It's a really good home scent. I wanted to try one of their limited edition candles for the holidays, and I think that they have three right now. One that kind of smells like firewood, another one that I believe is called Nage, and I think that's kind of like vanilla-y, I don't really know. And then there's this one that smells like Christmas trees and I'm really glad I went to go smell it in the store and I got the mini version because they were out of the big version but it comes in this really pretty box and their candles are usually white in the wax but this one you can see is green which I think is really cute. So it looks exactly like the box. And as you can see, this one is pretty small. So we can do a size comparison. This is an old candle jar that I saved to use for makeup brushes. You can see that this is the 2.4 ounce candle and this is the 6.5 ounce. And this 6.5 ounce lasts me for a year. This is my first time purchasing the mini size of the candle. So I'm not sure how long that this is gonna last, but it smells amazing. Okay, last but certainly not least is this. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to unbox this. This is the first big luxury purchase that I have made in a while and I'll tell you all about it. So this was my first time using a sourcing service. I don't know if you guys have seen all over Instagram. There are a lot of small businesses now that will source luxury goods for you all over the world. So I think one of the biggest ones is Gab Waller. If you guys don't know who she is, I think she's 24 from Australia. Don't quote me on that. But she has built like a massive company based on just going to search luxury items that people can't find in their home countries. And now she does it for celebrities. But anyway, one of my favorite bloggers posted that they also have used this service called The Sourced House. So... I looked at their Instagram, saw that they had had a pair of these shoes that I really wanted in my size or what I hope is my size, fingers crossed, because after doing a lot of research, um, it seems like these run a little bit small. And so I really hope they fit, but I reached out to them and asked if they ship to the US and how the process works. And it was the best customer service I have ever received. Their response time was super fast and checked in with me after they had shipped them and had even sent a message when they saw that they got delivered today. So as I'm filming this, these were just delivered like a couple hours ago and I am so excited. And let's open it up. I 
Oh, I usually purchase all of my luxury items pre-owned just because they're expensive. And I feel like you can still get really, really good quality pieces pre-owned, which people haven't even worn. I have a pair of these Chanel ballet flats that I purchased from the Real Real that were pre-owned and they were in great condition, not worn, and I got them for a fraction of the cost. But there's also something to be said about just being able to purchase a luxury item after all of your hard work and you know that no one else has worn this. So let's unbox it. All right, so it comes with the Chanel authenticity cards, the care cards, this is my first time seeing these in person too, by the way. I haven't even gone to the boutique because I no longer live near a boutique that I could even go to in person. So first time seeing these in person and I purchased them. So I hope I like them. All right, so it looks like they came with two individual dust bags, which is amazing. I've been seeing these everywhere and they've been sold out a lot. And so I was really excited to find these. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And they came in time for Christmas, which I was so excited about. So this is my Christmas present to myself. So these are the black leather Chanel turn lock loafers. And these are in a size eight. So I'll show you. They have the signature Chanel with the turn lock and I actually, it does move. So that's cool. Oh my God, it like fully opens like this. I had no idea it would do that. To be honest, I don't really think that this is for functionality. I think this is just for design, but that's pretty cool. All right, so that turn detail, take the stuffing out, has the Chanel engraved on the inside. And even just by looking at these, I can tell it looks like they run a little bit more narrow. So I do think that I was good in sizing up. So I'm usually a size seven and I got these ones in a size 38 or an eight. And my God, they smell good. Die hard Gucci Princeton loafer lover. I, those, that was like my first big luxury purchase as well in terms of shoes. I know they like were really big in the 2000s, like earlier 2000s with bloggers. And people think that they're kind of fading out of style, but I still wear mine all the time and I love them. But I wanted a loafer that has a back on them. And of course, if you guys have owned anything from Chanel, even if you haven't, I'm sure you know, like their quality is amazing. These are so soft. I'm honestly terrified to wear these out of the house, but I am someone that believes that you should use your products, not just buy them and have them sit on your shelf. So I will be wearing these a lot. And of course the bottom looks super nice. It has like their cross hatch design on there as well. I will literally wear them with anything. I feel like you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with trousers a skirt i love the loafers and the like high sock trend right now i think that's also really cute um i will show you which socks i end up getting i don't have like a good loafer sock right now so i'm going to be purchasing some i want some like cashmere ones for the winter especially now because it's getting colder out or you can see them like this i'm so excited Maybe I'll even do like, you know, an update after I wear them a lot, if they're comfortable, if they fit, if they don't fit, you guys will be the first ones to know and I'll sell them. But I'm really hoping that they fit. All right, guys. So that is all that I purchased during Cyber Monday and Black Friday. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.